High Intensity Interval Training HIIT, is a well-known exercise style where you interchange times of lively exercise with brief breaks. In contrast to more explicit exercises, as Tabata, HIIT offers a great deal of opportunity and adaptability, contingent upon wellness level. 1. Thankfully, HIIT doesn't require any unique hardware or guidance, and is anything but difficult to do from the solace of your own home. Subsequent to heating up, explore different avenues regarding various exercises and see what works best for you. Adding HIIT to your routine. 1. Warm up before you begin working out. Try not to bounce straight into your HIIT exercise, regardless of whether you're practicing at home, give yourself some an ideal opportunity to alter before hopping into the circuit. Start by doing 10 to 15 reps of leg swings, at that point work your approach to side leg swings too. To get your blood siphoning, bounce rope for a moment, at that point perform 10 reps of squats and 2 inchworms. You can change this warm-up varying. Keep in mind, the objective is to assist you with progressing to your HIIT exercise, however you would prefer not to feel gasping for air before you even start. On the off chance that you don't have a hop rope, complete a few reps of hopping jacks. 2. Choose your preferred activities for your HIIT schedule. You can follow a pre-structured exercise, or you can tweak your exercise. Select a few activities that you're quite gifted with, so you can stretch yourself as far as possible as you work out. There's no set in stone exercise, simply pick exercises where you can truly propel yourself, so you can take advantage of your HIIT exercise. For example, hopping jacks, squats, push-ups, and boards are on the whole reasonable game for your exercise. On the off chance that you haven't worked out in some time, center around practices that will improve your adaptability, just as less demanding activities like strolling, riding a bicycle, or utilizing a treadmill. 3. Pick an exercise group that adjusts overwhelming activity and rest. HIIT includes raising your pulse rapidly with short, serious explosions of activity split up break periods. Remember that there's no set time breaking point or prerequisite for these spans, so you can pick an organization that works best for you. Consider your present wellness levels and what your body can deal with, there's nothing amiss with working up to shorter rest periods as you grow more continuance. For example, in case you're an amateur, you might need to practice energetically for 20 seconds, at that point rest with lighter exercise, such as strolling, for 2 minutes. In case you're a more prepared competitor, you can attempt Tabata, a more extraordinary type of HIIT. This includes 20 seconds of substantial exercise followed by 10 seconds of rest. 4. Time your exercises so they're 20 minutes or less. Remember that HIIT exercises are extreme, and are centered around getting your pulse up. In light of this, you shouldn't do this sort of exercise for longer than 20 minutes. On the off chance that you're a fledgling, begin with a four brief circuit, at that point gradually stir your way up in future exercises. 5. Push yourself as far as possible during your activity circuits. Do whatever it takes not to downsize the power of your activities, regardless of whether you're beginning to get wore out. Give a valiant effort to invest the maximum measure of energy into each part of your exercise. In the event that you begin to unwind, you won't receive rewards of a typical HIIT exercise. 6. Limit yourself to 3-4 to four HIIT exercises every week. While HIIT practice is an incredible method to consume fat, don't fit these exercises into your everyday plan. You would prefer not to chance harming or workaholic behavior yourself, which will counteract all the beneficial outcomes of your exercise. Interchange your HIIT meetings by at any rate one day so your body has the opportunity to mend and recuperate. 7. Cool down after you've completed your exercise. Put aside a couple of moments to loosen up your muscles before you throw in the towel. 
Start with a sprinter's thrust, where one leg is bowed forward, and the other leg is expanded straight behind. Moreover set aside some effort to discharge certain pieces of your body by rolling a tennis ball underneath your feet, hips, and glutes. To truly loosen up your body, attempt the resting pigeon position, where you take care of one leg front of your chest and expand the other straight behind. Lean forward over your tucked foot with your arms outstretched for a few minutes to get a decent chill off. Trying Simple Workouts 1. Try out the PAUL technique for a balanced exercise. Note that the PAUL technique represents plyometric cardio, such as hopping jacks, stomach muscle exercises, similar to crunches or spaces, chest area exercises, similar to push-ups, and lower body exercises, similar to lurches and squats. Draft a rundown of various activities that fit into these four classes, at that point string them together into a HIIT circuit. Do every exercise for 30 seconds, and afterward allow yourself 30 seconds to slow down. Proceed with this exercise until you've practiced for 10 minutes. 2. Focus on quality preparing with a progression of intense activities. Play out a few activities straight, doing at any rate 10 reps for every action. Switch back and forth between hopping jacks, squats, slant push-ups, boards, and a solitary leg glute connect, at that point allow yourself 30 seconds to regain some composure. Rehash this circuit a few times to finish your HIIT exercise. 3. Opt for a running-based HIIT exercise on the off chance that you lean toward cardio. Run for 800 meters 870 yards as quick as could reasonably be expected, timing yourself as you go. Designate yourself that equivalent measure of time to walk, so you can slow down. Complete four arrangements of this circuit, at that point settle down with simple, 10-minute employment. Experimenting with exercise equipment. 1. Perform some iron weight activities to assist you with consuming fat. Start by swinging the iron weight for 30 seconds with one arm, exchanging arms after each swing. After this, hold the portable weight safely in one hand and twitch it over your head before bringing it back underneath your shoulder. When the 15 seconds are up, get the iron weight and rehash the activity with your contrary hand. To finish the circuit, grasp the portable weight against your chest with two hands and squat for 30 seconds, keeping your back up standing. 2. Alternate quality activities with hikers to get your blood siphoning. Start with one moment of portable weight swings, controlling the iron weight from between your legs to a similar degree of your shoulders. Rest for 15 seconds, at that point complete 30 seconds of hikers before resting once more. After this, do some decay push-ups for one moment before resting once more. Do another arrangement of 30-second hikers and give yourself a second to rest. Polish off the circuit with one moment of fire hydrants, trailed by another arrangement of hikers. 3. Focus on cardio with a treadmill exercise. Change your treadmill so you're at a 5% slant, at that point raise the speed to 5 to 6.5 miles per hour, 8.0 to 10.5 kilometers per hour. Run for one moment to get pulse up, and afterward turn your treadmill speed down to 3 miles per hour, 4.8 kilometers per hour. Stroll at this speed for 2 minutes before resetting back to the quicker speed. Intend to do at any rate 6 reiterations of this activity so you can get a full exercise. If you liked the video, do not forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.